Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Yes, for the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Today, talking about Bitcoin, talking about the huge forest fires in Portugal, talking about people having a stable coin, and talking about, of course, the climate change. <laughs> a walk and talk through the beautiful nature here at the back of my house in Lagos. Not walking near the sea because my mic is not working perfect and that makes the noise of the waves too intrusive to uh, make a good video, guys. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about, of course, is the Bitcoin price. We are around 30k. As you know, 30k is a level of resistance because it was a level of support if you look to the left of the chart before. So that means we kept support on 30k. But when we broke it, now it becomes a level of resistance. That we that is what we see at the moment. You can see Bitcoin trying to break that level but not succeeding yet. So we bounce back again downwards uh, to the next level of support to try a little bit later. I still believe there is a massive move in Bitcoin coming like you saw on my video yesterday. So I believe um, that you can have a beautiful move now to maybe 29k back and then bam upwards guys uh, all the way to these levels of 37k because that is the move that i can see in the daily and the weekly fractals playing out you should see a huge move to the upside um, and yes it doesn't mean that it will be like directly in one day it could mean uh, that it will take a couple of days or maybe even a week because the resistance of 30k is there and we first need to break that today as you can see, I traded um, the whole move upwards through the Bam Bam indicator. It gave a long, beautifully on the chart. It also gave the triple confirmation on the one hour chart. So that's when I traded the trade. I think I'm up 80% or something now with this trade. I will keep it running. I put my stop loss above um, uh, my entry point. So I can't lose anymore. I even increased the leverage now because even if you, if you are in a trade and you're in profit and you move your stop loss off and you can increase your leverage and then um, the liquidation is even below the stop loss yet and you just move it up to the max because every move a little bit upwards uh, will have a big influence on your trade and will give you massive returns so that's how you play the game if you're in profit if you want to know more about that then join our telegram group the link is down below and you will be educated some more but as you know guys i believe that you should zoom out in bitcoin and zoom in at live enjoy every single minute of the day don't stress too much about the bitcoin charts uh, i'm going to show you this chart now to show what i mean bam this is the first chart guys that you need to understand check the cycles 2011 and 13 was a short bull run then we have the 2014 to 17 bull run the 2018 to 2020 21 top and 2022 to 2023 where we are now here is exactly how you can compare these bull runs with each other and which phase of the bull run we are and we just entered the second part of that phase and I believe that second part of the phase will end somewhere around 40 to 50K in April 2024. And from that moment, we will go into the third part of the phase, which will take another year all the way into 2025 before we create the bull run top. And that, in my opinion, will be a blow off top this time. And when we will reach that blow off top, that is the moment when you should exit your positions or take your profits uh, to buy back Bitcoin again lower after the crash so yes if you zoom out you understand that it's still an amazing moment to step into bitcoin and there is another chart confirming this for me and it is the short to long term um, sopr ratio is what they call it because here you can see that the short term holders are less profitable than the long term holders at the moment and every time when that happens look where those red circles are we see the red line going down that is the moment that the bull market starts look to the first time in 2012 the blue line turns into red because we crossed that blue line to the down, downside so when that red line comes down you can see on the price that the price is going up again the second bull run 2016 turning red and downwards means the bitcoin price is going up and then again in 2019 we went down below that blue horizontal line the line turned into red that's exactly what the red circle is and that is the run run of uh, the last bull run and now again we can see the same we had those blue peaks that was the bear market we are turning red again the second leg down this means the start of the bull market 
Now, that was everything about the Bitcoin charts. Let's jump into the next part. So that was everything about the Bitcoin price. I hope it's completely clear until I'm teaching you to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life, trying to enjoy every single minute of the day, which is very difficult nowadays because of all the climate change. As you can see, it's 50 degrees in Portugal and we are burning and we are all dying. Yes, it is so hot. I'm even doubting to wear a sweater nowadays in the morning and in the evenings. That's how hot it is. But let's first stop with PayPal. PayPal has now a PYUSD stablecoin, which means PayPal is creating a stablecoin, um, which means they are kind of doing the same the central banks want to do. Like the central banks created the central bank's digital currency. And I know all the crypto uh, fanatics now are really, really happy that PayPal created a stablecoin because it's built on Ethereum. So it's a cryptocurrency stablecoin. And a lot of the people are again happy, but I need to wake up, wake up, wake up the people again over there. Did you forget what people did during COVID? Anybody? Anybody know my answer? Ah, yeah, indeed. People froze the accounts of those people that didn't agree with vaccinations and all the policies and that wanted to support truckers all over the world and all that stuff. And people froze the accounts. So now you are happy as a Bitcoin people again that they are building their PYUSD, the PayPal stablecoin on Ethereum so that they can freeze your assets in the future again. <laughs> For all those people that want to buy stablecoins now in PayPal or change their Bitcoins into stablecoins, um, that's all nice, it's all cool. And it's a lot of customers that use PayPal and a lot of customers now that get uh, familiar with blockchain, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Yes, that's the positive part. I need to agree, but I would never put my money somewhere of where I know that they can freeze it even more simple than the bank froze your money. People froze accounts during the COVID pandemic. They will freeze them again during the whole climate, climate scam that's coming up now. So don't keep too much funds on PayPal or in PayPal's new stablecoin. Then I'd rather choose it to use a Revolut, like I said on the previous video. Uh, it's now by now confirmed. People are able indeed to buy Bitcoin with a Revolut account and send those Bitcoins outside of the Revolut um, landscape into a non-custodial hardware wallet, uh, which is really positive. But there is a limit that people told me, I think it's 11K per month. So you can only buy up to 11K per month uh, in Bitcoin that you can send outside of Revolut. You can buy more, but then you need to keep it in Revolut. So 100K takes you 10 months, uh, nine months to send out. Now, so um, why am I again talking about PayPal? Yeah, because that they have their stablecoin and people now really believe it because it's on Ethereum and it's uh, fucking awesome and positive and, and they won't freeze it anymore because it only happened in, during the COVID. Now, let's go to the next phase. The next phase will be our beautiful uh, climate scam. Yes, because I read the news every day and in the news that says, Portugal is on fire, the whole Algarve is on fire, the fucking Algarve is burning down, it's 46 degrees, people are being evacuated out of villages and campsites and people need to go home and people should not fly <clears throat> because if they fly they use airplanes and if they use airplanes that's even worse for the whole environment guys and that's the people um, that write that and say that that is those people that are now probably spending their holidays with private jets and huge kick-ass yachts and they probably don't disturb the whole climate if it's even true that the climate has some issues at the moment because i don't believe in that in climate i believe in the same that i believe in bitcoin in climate i zoom out on the charts and i zoom in at life because when it comes to climate they are trying to fool you and tell you that the earth is global warming. There's global warming. The earth is heating up. And that's why all these forest fires are here in the Algarve, in the most beautiful touristic area of Portugal. It all has to do with the global warming. Now, first of all, there is no forest fires in the Algarve. It's a little bit more north of the Algarve. Second of all, it's not 46 degrees, it's really chilly. I am not lying. I could really wear a sweater now. And in the evenings also, it's like if we hit 30 degrees max, I'm happy. So it's not true what you read in the media. But it all has to do with creating more fear 
and more fear for that climate. You need to stay in fear. You were in fear of COVID. Now you will be in fear of the whole climate change and you will be locked up again in your house because it's too hot. You can't travel out of the Netherlands or Belgium or Germany because you know, that's not good for the climate. So you, so you will have to confirm to your budgets that you have every month in spending when it comes to CO2 and, <laughs> and that's it. You know, that, that's the whole goal of the shit. And I don't understand why people are falling for this again. I tweeted about it like two days ago. I'm gonna walk, um, let's say this side. I tweeted about it a couple of days ago and then people are again, man, you are again a conspir conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy theorist. That's how you, that's what you call me. I need to go there because there's a lot of noise there. Is that what you call me during the part of the pandemic when I told you COVID is fake? People told me, ah, you need to be vaccinated. You're a conspiracy theorist. I am so fucking happy, me, my family, uh, we all didn't get vaccinated. Maybe that saved our lives to not being vaccinated. Did you read how many uh, people now have this sickness? I can't even pronounce the word on the heart here, the myocarditis, whatever it is. Like your fucking heart is being destroyed through the vaccinations. Within five years, many people uh, will be affected by this. So I'm very happy we didn't do it. And I'm also very happy that I don't believe in the whole climate change because if you look at the climate and people tell you the earth is warming up or they have this new earth where it's not warming up, it's now on fire or what they say again. It's like this strange new word that everybody in the media is repeating. It's not global warming anymore. It's now global burning or global whatever they call it. I don't know even what to call it, but guys, I saw this video of this professor, climate professor, of course, he again, uh, they don't listen to him, uh, but this guy is telling us we are not warming, we're cooling down. It just depends on what part of history you compare um, the, the climate, the temperatures. If you look at the last 38 to 40 years, yes, we have been warming. But do people still understand that till the 1850s, we had a little ice age. So from the middle ages till the late 1850s, there was a little ice age, which means that's the coolest part of the climate cycles. And wouldn't it be that we warm up from a little ice age? That's why they call it the little ice age. It was the coolest period all the way up to 1850, maybe even to 1900. And after that, we started warming up. Yes, of course we start warming up after an ice age. But if you zoom out a little bigger, then you can see that there were many more heat periods in our existence. We have the, uh, the Roman heating uh, wave, we have the medieval uh, heating wave, and all those waves, the earth was way warmer than it is now. So if you zoom out and look at the last 4,000 years, the earth has only been cooling down. And then there is other charts that also showing that the earth is becoming greener because of the positive C effect of CO2 on the nature so it's all this fucking retarded game again to fool you to make you live in fear and to scare you away from a freedom life into this 15 minute city life what they want for you not what you want but what they want for you in my honest opinion i can't feel the climate change can you is it really getting warmer at your place i think on the pole or greenland had the coldest day ever, like a couple of weeks ago. I think minus 60 something. The coldest day ever. W how can we be heating up if we are still breaking records and cooling coldest days? Because a part of the world, yes, that's warming up and there's a part of the world that's cooling down. So on average, we are not doing anything. We're just shifting the temperatures from here to there a little bit. Uh, maybe that's to do because uh, we have the moon cycles of the earth being in a big universe and floating around and having like influence and having like temperature cycles already for millions of years. And we will just have those cycles every time again. But maybe those cycles are just like in Bitcoin becoming less extreme. And maybe the cooler periods won't be that cool anymore. So we won't have a global ice age only little ice ages and maybe the heat periods won't be as hot anymore and we will have just nice beautiful summers 35 to 40 degrees sometimes and yes then a forest fire can start 
but that doesn't mean the whole country is in fire. I'm in Lagos Portico. Look, this is the driest area just on the back of my house. Completely dry. This should be on fire if all Portugal is on fire because this is one of the areas that, that, that will catch fire like this. And then we will move somewhere else, of course. <laughs> I also want to be safe. I just want to be clear that it's like not always what you read in the news about Bitcoin, blockchain or life is the truth. They also try to create this fear so that you keep obeying what they want. And I just don't like that. I think that was everything I want to talk about. I hope you kind of agree with me. Uh, if you don't, then leave a comment down below. But if you did like the video, then give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know down and let me know down below what you think about first the Bitcoin price, second the whole PayPal adventure, third the whole climate change, and fourth the all those big fires around me in Portugal where I'm almost freezing my balls off. Now that's a joke. It's not that cold, but guys, by far by far 46 degrees thanks for watching hopefully see you tomorrow again bam